And good morning. Welcome to the Stamper Studio and welcome to Saturday in the Studio. Uh, my name is Lisa Schmidt and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And um, it's Saturday, my favorite day of the week. How about you? Um, I love, love, love Saturdays. Today is sort of a unique day because we are working or working, volunteering at a fundraiser for our school. It's the biggest fundraiser for our district. It's the biggest fundraiser of the year called Hopkins Education Foundation. So we'll be going over and setting, helping set up this afternoon for silent auction, but then tonight is a big gala. <laughs> I like that word, gala. <laughs> so today I want to show you something that's coming up soon. It is the um, zinnias, the Simply Zinnia. I did show you the other day, one using just with designer series paper, but today I want to do it, take it a step further um, using some more stamping, using the flowers a little bit more. So show you just some beautiful things. I mean, the paper is enough to sell it right there. It's just... Uh, it's a must-have, in my opinion. So, Morning, Sandy. Hi, friends. All right. Ready to get started, Hen? Yep. All right. So first, I'm going to show you the stamp set. Simply Zinnia has Ascending Flowers and Thinking of You. Which we're hi, gonna, Kathy. We're going to use the Thinking of You today, just that. So that's kind of fun. Um, words fail to express my gratitude. Thank you so much. I love the font on this one. Hey, Mary Jo. That's just really fun. Hi, friends. How's Arizona? <laughs> Um, and then, of course, the zinnias. And then in the dies, we have just these very fun, uh, just very fun, um, obviously, dies to cut out. It's all stuck together. Obviously, dies to cut out the flowers, but then there's also additional flowers. And I'm going to kind of use all of that today. So not really going to struggle with that right now. Oh, there's one right now. So sometimes when I have extras, I go ahead and drop them either in here okay. or in the dies or in the stamp set somewhere where I'll remember, oh yeah, I've cut some extras. I might want to use those. So look at this paper first off. Um, we've got Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Berry Burst. Um, what else? We've got uh, Lemon Lime Twist, Mellow Moss. Mellow Moss, that's an old one. Me Ooh. Mossy Meadow is what I meant to say. <laughs> But look at how fun the greens. And then I have to tell you, we had some friends over the other night and we haven't seen them in how many years? Probably 20. 30, 20, 25, long time. And um, she was going to a birthday party. And so she saw the card I had made of this. And she was like, oh, can I have that one? I was like, sure. Uh, thinking, well, I need to make another one now so we can see how we'd use that beautiful paper. <laughs> All good. Yeah. No, it was very fun. Very fun to see them. So anyway, some beautiful, beautiful zinnias. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, so I'm going to use that today. Hey, Diane. Hey, Cheryl. All right. The first card I'm going to make is um, I'm going to use Kay that. Kay agrees. The DSP is so oh, vibrant. Oh, my goodness. And Kay, I totally agree with you. These colors just scream spring. They are obviously summer. zinnias bloom in the summer. Um, and summer is one of my favorite seasons. And it just, yes, I totally agree with you. It's vibrant and fun. So I'm going to use the Mellow Moss, Mossy Meadow. I'm not going to say that again. I've got the stamp set right in front of me. So Mossy Meadow. And I'm using this piece of the DSP because look at how fun. It's got these beautiful greens behind it. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that which is funny, you talked about the vibrant and then the flowers will be vibrant. Uh, having some issues, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so just gonna use this mossy meadow background, which has so many different greens in it. It has old olive, it has the mossy meadow, it has the um, mm, lemon lime twist, so many different things, which makes it just really fun to work with. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some zinnias. I'm gonna center this on my block. It's kind of off center. That DSP makes me think of a word I heard this week that I had never heard before. <laughs> What's that? They they commented on in a house that the wallpaper was grand floral or mo modern grand. Oh shoot, I lost it. But the point was. Not your grandma's floral, floral with a new, more modern twist, which oh. is when I look at that, the greens on that that page there, that's what I think of. It's sort of the more okay. millennial modern floral. So I opened up stays on because I'm going to use that later. That's not really what I wanted. So anyway, the first one came out quite light, which is fine. So I just flipped it over and I'm going to stamp two more 
flowers here because we're going to die cut those. I'm going to stamp later on vellum, which is why I wanted the stays on, but stays on, um, I just want to use the memento instead. So there we go. All right, so these three beautiful flowers, we're gonna give a little bit of color. Uh, let's find my markers here. And I pulled out markers that match all the, look at this. Isn't that so fun? I love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just stamp one in pumpkin pie. And I, I have the dark, happen to have the dark one here, which is fine. So I'm gonna just kind of go here. Um, as I color, Dave, this might be a good time. Well, we'll just keep going. I'm going to color these. Um, and I like to do the edges first because then actually I like to do the edges with the other side. So if you haven't used Stampin' Blends, the great thing about them is they don't leave streaks or stripes or you can't see where you drew the marker, bottom line. And I really like that because... Um, because then it doesn't look, it looks more like it's painted, not just colored in. Grand millennial. Oh, the ah, term I was grand, that does sound, yeah, that sounds kind of regal. It's like not your grandma's floral. This is modern floral. Yeah. Grandma's floral. I think of pink roses and things like that. So, um, let me go ahead and you want to, mm, sure. I, I just feel like I don't want people watching me color, and I guess I didn't really think about how long it would take. So, so while Lisa is coloring that, I'm just going to mention that obviously the Cinea stuff is beautiful. And so here is when you're going to be able to order it. Um, starting on March 5th, we will have a new set of online exclusives that are available. And so you can see the Zinnias are a part of that. Here is that beautiful, beautiful DSP paper. Um, in addition to that, also available, there is a embossing folder that goes with it, some beautiful shiny sequins, um, the Simply Zinnia set. There is also another set, Encircled in Nature, which has both stamps and dies that is also a great coordinating piece that is also going to be available on March 5th. So starting March 5th, that's just next week. I mean, March sounded like a long way off, and now here we are. But you know what happens in March? It's Lisa's birthday. It's my birthday, March 20th. So we have to start celebrating today. <laughs> and then we go throughout the whole entire month. Absolutely. Absolutely. But for my birthday, we're going to be on St. Martin. So Yeah, and uh, his birthday <laughs> is on April 1st. So, But yeah. don't make fun of it because why, Dave? It's my grandma's birthday, too. It's her gra his grandma's birthday, too. Okay, so there's that one. This one I did in Flirty Flamingo. And I just want to go back and make a little bit darker. So I'm coloring the inside a different color than the outside. Just to, and where the shading, where Stampin' Up! has already put the shading, I'm going to make a little darker. And on this one. Um, hey, Tanya. This one, when I use the end that is the, this end, the, what would you call that end? Just the marker end, not the brush end. Yep. It was a little bit lighter. And so I went ahead and left the edges a little bit lighter with that which I think is really pretty. All right, and our, oops, we gotta color the inside of this one. So let's do that. I'm gonna do it in the orange or pumpkin pie, like that. And then the last one I'm gonna color is um, Berry Burst. So there's three, I stamped three, cut three. So I'm gonna stamp Berry Burst. Um, and again, I'm gonna tell you these, these markers are just stunning. So um, zinnias, I'm gonna talk about zinnias for a second. Zinnias are a flower that we... A flower. A flower. <laughs> Zinnias are a flower, if you didn't see that. But we plant these, and you have to kind of plant them early summer. Or you sort of miss the window, and they come, in Minnesota anyway, they come up and freeze. And so they come up, and then it freezes. But I do love the zinnias because they're so pretty. Now, I could have die cut some, but the die cut ones don't have this angle. The die cut ones are more like flat, like straight on. And so that I didn't really care for as much. All right, so that's that. Let's see if this end is lighter also. Oh, well, not really, a little bit, that's okay. We just want that color all in. I suppose the other thing you could do, now that I'm thinking about it, if you didn't want a color, you could always stamp them on um, the, the paper, right? Yep. Stamp it on that color sure. paper. And, and then die cut it. Die cut it. You could even use a little bit of bleach in a, 
uh, watercolor pen and that would give it the, you could pull off some of the color or the color lifter. All right, so in this one, let's put that flirty flamingo inside. Done. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and die cut these out. Thank you for your patience. And I'm gonna use my little mini boss here. One thing I'm gonna say is in the online exclusives coming out next week, there is a super fun birthday set. Oh, fun, fun, do I not even know about birthday. this? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. I do, but I know. don't. All right. So I'm going to line that right up. And remember, you can always um, use a post-it note. Washi tape. Washi tape. Or you can squish the bug, which is my preferred method, unless it's... <laughs> okay, Dave's shaking his head, but that's how I squish a bug. I get right over it and I squish it so it doesn't run away. There we go. So very pretty. Um, what is your favorite flower? Pop it in the chat. Oh, I like that. Those colors scream. Sherbert. Sherbert. Yes. Um, hey, Tanya. Hey, pop Patty. Pop in the chat your favorite color. So one other thing I'm going to comment on here is. Can see you slide how, it up just a little bit? I can. See how I keep twisting this around? One little trick is to take your, take a Sharpie and mark the top of the um, die, and then you'll know exactly where the top is versus the bottom. I feel a little shaky. I think it's because I had coffee and I didn't eat breakfast yet. I think you're right. There we go. All right. Let's get that popping through there. Boom, boom. So pretty. I mean, yeah. Anyway, what's your favorite flower? Do you have some flowers coming up? How about you, Dave? What's your favorite flower? My favorite flower? Hmm. I do like colorful zinnias. Mm -hmm. I do like, um, there are a lot of begonias mm. that are very pretty. And then the other one that's not begonia that I was, the New Guinea, the New Guinea impatience. Okay. I like those. I really like the um, Gerbera daisies because of course they are bright also, right? Yep. Okay. Tanya likes carnations and daisies. There we Her go. Her wedding flowers. All right, so we've got our beautiful flowers, and basically, we are going to just pop these on here because why not? We can. Okay, my dimensionals are right here. Oh, there's some. So we're going to pop these on. Using dimensionals. Using dimensionals, yep. There we go. And I don't like using take your pick to get that off there. To me, that feels easier. So I'm just going to put the three of these on here. I think I'm going to put this one here. This um, pumpkin pie, I think I'm going to leave flat and tuck, kind of tuck under there. I'll just stick that one directly on like that. And then we've got, I might as well pop up the flirty flamingo. And there we go. So. Hey, Melinda, I didn't, didn't see your note there. And if you... Uh, I'll pop this down here like that. Um, so then the last thing, obviously, we're going to put on is a little sentiment. And the sentiment we're going to use is, um, let's get our stamp set back in here. This one, sending flowers and thanking you and thinking of you. Isn't that funny? Because that's sending flowers and thinking of you. Terry, thanks for joining us from Fort Wayne, Indiana. She says she loves that your cards aren't overly difficult so she can make oh, them too. Oh, I appreciate that because sometimes I think they're maybe too simple. This one is not, but sometimes. I do like simple. Simple is a good thing. What? I like simple. You I know, sometimes you like, simple. like a little more complicated. <laughs> That's true. So I'm just going to go with that light. Um, it's a little bit lighter, the flirty flamingo. And just to pull out that color a little bit. And Patty likes sunflowers. Oh, yeah, 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 Patty. I like sunflowers too. And because I didn't pre-cut a die, I'm just going to cut this. There's one uh, kind of a quicker way to get that one done. Kind of a longer card. I didn't anticipate that. But I will tell you, where did I get this card from? Oh, yes. The Stampin' Up! Flyer for Zinnias. Because I, I figure they pay people to design things. <laughs> Why not just copy what they have, right? They have um, people who will just design the things. And there we go. So a little bit shorter here. And that's the other thing about using a die is it cuts it out exactly how you want it. You can see it's right here on the flyer. 
<laughs> exactly what we've got oh, going on. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there it is. And the other one I'm going to make, it's all cut out, but the other one is the other part there. Because why not? Like I said, I love that they hire people to design things, and I'm going to take advantage of that. Okay. So, last thing we're going to do here is go ahead and I'm going to do a little snip and just make it a little banner, which again, I have a punch to do that, but I did not bring it over. <laughs> And I didn't get quite no, there we go. All right, so there's that. Cut that one. I can see my scissors are bending in <laughs> a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on one side and put a little banner, oopsie, like, like that, just right there. And of course, I'm gonna pop that up too. And pop it up on the one end, flat on the up. other. Now, the only other thing we need here is some, Dave's like, no, nothing else. No, I'm looking at your pop-up on the right side. It's going to be double popped up then because. That's okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it as double. And in fact, you could even, like, anyway, I'm not going to, but you could do it like that. What I was thinking is you could put some Wink of Stella, which really like pops everything out on just like the centers it would make it really pretty. See if you can see that. Yep. You saw it get darker. Yes, it got darker. It also got sparklier, which is very fun. Um, so there you go. Uh, as Dave has something he's going to say, and I'm going to look for my little dots to put out because I don't want you waiting. I feel like that took, I don't know why. I feel like it has to be quick online. Maybe you're not, maybe you don't feel that way, but I do. There All right, go. Dave, go ahead. All right. So something else we have coming up is next Saturday is our one year anniversary party up at the refuge. Whoop, whoop. So if you have some time on Saturday to stop in and visit with us, maybe you haven't seen the refuge yet. That is our retreat house that we have in Little Falls, Minnesota. Um, and we are going to be having some sweet treats, fun projects, all fun things that you can come to the refuge and do next Saturday from 10 until 2. And like I said, if you haven't been there before, come and check it out. If you have been there, come anyway, because you know it's a great fun place to be. So hope you can join us next Saturday up at the refuge. And with everything we're talking about, you know, when I mentioned that things are going to be available starting on March 5th, anytime you need anything, just go to the stamperstudio.com. That's what I'm displaying on the screen here, because right from there, you can get in um, on the 5th, come in here, click order Stampin' Up products, and you'll be able to order those new online exclusives. Um, need the details on our event, come here, you can see that. And if you want to come join us for one of our hosted retreats, I will say we have so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, hosting people up at the refuge, or you can rent the whole house for yourself. I'm um, in your group, but um, our hosted retreats, we have a link on the stamperstudio.com that you can sign up for those. I will say that March and April are sold out, um, but May, June, and on, we have plenty of space. So join us for one of our hosted retreats up there. Hosted retreat, what does that mean? You bring your projects, anything you want to work on. Um, we provide all of the lodging, the beautiful rooms at the refuge, all of your meals, um, as well as some additional treats and special things for you. Charcuterie and is a main one. That is that is one of the things, some tasty desserts, all sorts of different <laughs> things. Um, and you know what? If you're like, I want to come up, but I don't want to do anything, totally fine. Just hang out at the refuge. You can walk down by the Mississippi River, walk into Little Falls. It's just literally blocks down the, down the street from us. So um, join us at the refuge either for our open house um, or come for one of our hosted or private retreats. So great All right. fun to be had. Thanks, hon. All right. <laughs> I was looking for them and they're right here. So these are the gems that coordinate with this suite. They're called adhesive backed. Ready for this? Shiny sequins. Shiny sequins. <laughs> and I just popped a couple on here. All right. I'm going to just tuck this inside because that's the piece I will put inside. All right, um, I'm going to make a super, uh, I, like I told you, I'm going to make that other card, which is the using the embossing folder. So here is the embossing folder for the zinnias. You can, yeah, you can see it. So I went ahead and embossed this beautiful, look at that. Mm, that's nice. This side. Cheryl's been buying lots of tulips because a market near her is having a fundraiser for the fallen first responders in oh, Burnsville. Oh, I love that. By I selling love that. tulips. So that's that's great. Beautiful flowers and supporting a great cause. That's awesome. So I went ahead and embossed this using the 
3D embossing folder. It's so very pretty. There's lots we can do with that. And I'm using Flirty Flamingo as my main card. So just a half a sheet of cardstock. And I'm going to, our card's going to go up and down this way. So let's just see, is there a pattern? Not really. We can go either way. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And sometimes when I use the 3D embossing folder, I like to actually use glue because sometimes it will stay a little bit better. But using the, um, what is this called? Stamp and seal. Yeah, stamp and seal really is, that is really sticky as well. All right, so we're going to build a little flower on top of here. And so I cut, die cut out the little stem. And I die cut out all the pieces I need. I'm going to show you those. So this is the start. This is, I use this in the background. Um, this was the, what I just used to die cut out those zinnias. This one is berry burst. This is melon mambo backwards. This is melon mambo. This is berry burst. And then this one is the flirty flamingo. And I'm just going to layer all three on top of each other to get that nice. I just wanted to see where I want it to put my stem. So let's stick the stem down first. I'm just going to grab my rubber mat because then the adhesive doesn't stick to my surface. Love that on something that is smaller like this. All right, so let's go ahead and stick it like that. And then we'll just start building our flower because look how fun it is. Wait till you see, it's so fun. I'm gonna stack it with dimensionals. This is like the main piece of our, the main focal point. So I'm gonna do it that way. Doesn't even matter what side the bottom one is because it's all going to get a little bit covered. And we'll stick one in there. All right. And if you see, I'm sure you can see, but the detail of the, the um, lines that are in there, I mean, I just feel like it's really fun to use. That's going to actually get covered, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to turn, 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 decide where I want it. Right there is good. Oopsie. Right. It's moving. It's like it's alive. There we mm -hmm. go. Just a little zinnia. So I've got those nice three colors showing through. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make the center. And there's a little center. Again, look at the detail on that, on the center. And then we've got a little piece of flowers to go around it. They look like this. Look at that. All these little pieces just are so, just in my opinion, they add so much little detail and super easy to die cut out. I'm going to stick this one on first because then I'm going to pop up the orange one. Uh, no, I can't do that. I have to stick the orange one on first because this goes around it. There we go. All right, we'll stick this on. Nope. Go ahead and stick the orange one on. We got this. I got this. Like that. There we are. And then put this one on. Who said our cards were simple? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not hard. Not hard, Terry, but it, it is a lot of layers, and it's really not a lot of stamping, which is kind of interesting. So we're just going to pop that on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I think I've got enough dimensionals going on that I'm not going to stick any more on to pop this up. So we'll just put this on like that. And then I die cut out some leaves. And so here are my leaves. Boop, boop. And you can die cut um, two at a time. And then you just peel them apart. This one I'm going to go ahead and stamp on. And these I don't need to because they already have that detail on them. Let's grab our little... And normally we would stamp first and then die cut. But... Yep. And I must have everything. Oh, here it is. Norm that's right. Normally I would stamp first and die cut. But on this one, I'm not... It's doing... already cut. So we're going Actually, to go I don't it. know that I need to stamp on it. Is that the same size? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Mossy Meadow, which is the same color as this. And I'm going to put my little mat underneath again in case the ink goes over the edge and I don't mess up my whole surface space. And this one, it doesn't really even matter if it's perfect because it's tucking it's under. <laughs> and it's a leaf, right? So let's put some adhesive on this one. Sandy likes the flower. Yeah, isn't it pretty? I think and so. And Cheryl's going to come up next week. Um, my sentiment is going to go kind of here. So I'm just thinking about where I want my flowers to go or leaves to go rather, tuck that under there. Let's stick some of these on. I don't even need three. I think I'm gonna use two or one. Cause you kind of got a twofer on the first one. I think one is good, just like that. 
Now here's that, something I wanted to show you that this is um, one of the dies to me. I was like, Oh, is that antlers? No, it's not antlers. <laughs> um, but what I left it here to show you is I put on our adhesive sheet on the back because I don't want to have to put glue on this. This is too detailed. Fine detail. Yeah. To put the glue on. So I just left it like this to show you how I, um, so I, you stick the adhesive sheet on the back correct. and then you die cut it. And then your remaining adhesive sheet has a little protection on it. So you peel that off and stick it out. Yep. And so then I don't have to deal with putting adhesive on it because it's already on it. I like to use my take your pick to just kind of try to snag a piece there and pull that off. Boom. And it's going to add some detail right here. Nice. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks. And then this other one, we're going to do the same thing, get a little bit of so it's this so is easy like, with the adhesive sheet. Yes, it is. And I would not want to put adhesive on that. It just kind of would end up all over the place. So there. Oh, I nice. mean, I think that looks really nice. Um, I did die cut out. So this, if I were to make this card, I would make multiple of them. <laughs> I would die cut two. Every time I die cut something, I would die cut two of them. Um, this one, obviously, you can only die cut one. And then you can make a whole bunch of them. And you don't have to feel like it's putsy one by one by one. Um, this little... I want to show you where it came from. It came from this set, which is our stylish shape dies. It fits right in there. <laughs> it's the one that I used to die cut this out. Now, what I wanted to what I wanted to show you is I don't want to use this whole thing. I just want to use thinking of you. So here's a little tip: because it's rubber, because it's not um, photopolymer, photopolymer, I can take my rubber and I already did check to see if it was clean because remember I used this one before and I just want the thinking of you. I don't want the whole thing. Just want that. So use your stamp and write marker and then you can do it. Yeah, you also could not carefully do your ink, ink pad. pad, but the marker is easier. <laughs> and this is not a stamp and blend. This is a stamp and up a uh, stamp and write marker to get just that thinking of you, which is a little bit crooked. I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> kind of kills Dave when it's like, okay, I'm going to do it again. Let's see if we can get that. Or maybe that's the way it is. I don't know. I I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, but I'd like to do it one more time. And see if we can get that a little bit. Oh, I guess that's the way it is. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up, of course. <laughs> and go ahead and put this one. Just go ahead and slide this right across here like that. And then I've got my cute little gems to add a little something, something. So let's go ahead and I think on this one, I'm going to go with the pinks. I'm going to put one right here because I noticed I stamped that kind of far that way, which is totally fine. And put one there. I do like using your take your pick to my take your pick to go ahead and I don't like that one there. Put down here. There we go. So there it is. Um, just using, really, just using the dies. What do you think? Yeah, it's so so pretty. I love it. Um, so I'm going to show you this card. That also, this one is just. You could do it with just the paper, right? And then you take it up a notch and you add the layered dies, and that just makes it really, really, really fun. This one opens up and down. The last card I have is very simple because I already pre-colored it for you, for you, for me. I colored it already, but I just wanted to, um, this one is using Berry Burst, which I just love, love, love this color. And I'm just going to layer. I went in a, a little bit more than a quarter inch on this. And then I went in an eighth of an inch here. And then I did die cut this like that so that it layers all right on top. Um, and I did color these, you can see, I didn't, I already had you watch one coloring. That's kind of like watching ice melt, maybe. I don't know. It's really not that interesting to watch coloring. Now, if you like coloring, that's great. And if you don't, you could just stamp the black and white. That would still be quite striking on here. But this is Lemon Lolly. And I'm using Pumpkin Pie. <laughs> Kathy Shield, did you bump off? Hi again. <laughs> um... Yeah, the adhesive sheets are great, Sandy. I think they are good for just certain things that you need to use. 
All right. And then I did, I die cut this out of our scalloped contours. Yes. Yeah, scallop contour dies. Thank you. And then I just went ahead and colored it doing, trying to do some light and dark and I don't know, trying to be artsy. <laughs> and then I colored this, I used our, um, the color different couple, couple of different greens, mossy meadow. I used parakeet party, even though the color in here is lemon lime twist. I use parakeet party cause that's what I have. Okay, so this is all just going to lay just, just down like that. And we're going to... Sandy says, great coloring. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm going to... Thank you. I don't think... Thank you. Thank you for the coloring. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of therapeutic. When So here's another tip for you. If I'm going to do lots of cards like this that are coloring, what I do is stamp these. And then when I'm watching TV, I color them. So then I'm not trying to rush and get it done and... So the last thing I'm going to put on here is I want to stamp my sentiment. Um, I'm going to put this right across the bottom. Um, oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. I, that would look cute there. But I, I wanted to stamp on vellum and see if I could make just a little tag. Vellum also you can cut out in two pieces. And I thought, oh, that would look kind of fun right there. So I thought I would do the thanks. I think I have too many things out, which is probably why I'm feeling a little scattered because I usually do one or two cards and this time there's three cards, but let's find that here it is. This thank you so much, I think looks really pretty. And this is where you would use that stays on. You do not want to use regular ink on vellum and our vellum now we, yeah, we only carry vellum cardstock. We do not carry plain vellum, the thinner one. It's nice and thick and yes. So I'm going to use, use your silicone mat, please. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this off once because, like I said, it picks up more ink when you do it that way. Um, I don't know where it is right okay. now, then. It's here somewhere. All right, I'm just going to thank my stamp my little thank you so much. I just thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to put it on vellum. And then you could still see the colors behind it. And that's where I was with this one. I thought, well, if I color, I put a piece of cardstock there. Now we can't see part of it. And I don't know, I just wanted to see the whole thing. So I'm going to stamp, I'm going to stick this right here with a dimensional here, but then I will cover up the dimensional with some, a little bit of um, ribbon. So I'll just grab a little dimensional on this side like that, because I know we can see it obviously just like that. And then I'm going to put some ribbon on it. I have two uh, choices here. One is my lemon lolly. And it, this one comes in a set of three with balmy blue and um, bubble bath. Or this is a new ribbon that's coming out. And this one is called natural polka dot. What did I say? Oh, polka dot trim. But it is really thick. It's super, super thick, very jute-like. I'm going to use this one and just tie a knot. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait, you got the polka dots on the other side. That's fine. All you need to do is twist that when you pull it. And you get the polka dots on the side you want. So let's give that a little snip snip. It's nice and thick. It's going to cover that dimensional. And we'll just put this kind of like that. So we can still see the thank you kind of up at an angle there. And I'm just going to use a glue dot. So there we go. So this is a, um, again, you could stamp this, like I said, on a, on a colored paper and then not color it. But on this one, it's kind of fun to color it. There we go. Just kind of like that. I don't know if I like that like that. Maybe this way, pulling it down is better. Oh, yeah. That's going to be better a little bit that way. I want to be able to see the thank you. It's really thick. I'm going to cut it shorter because <laughs> otherwise I can't see my words. So um, what do you think, Dave? Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim it. Might be too... No more than that. No more sure. than that, I know. But my knot is really big. I'm tightening that a little bit. There we go. Okay. I think that works. Sort of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but that ribbon is, or this, it's almost like jute. It's, you can see the fur or the twine on the edge. It's very, very pretty. So, and sometimes you'll notice like I do this online and then I futz with it a little bit, fix it and make it better once, I, <laughs> once we're off. But anyway, so there is this one and there's that one and there's this one. Look at all these beautiful zinnias. Uh, I think that's, is that everything? I think so. All right, friends. So uh, if you stuck with us that whole time, thank you. That was kind of a longer one, but 
I do love how, um, like I said, the zinnia is so bright. So several of you commented on that as well, as well. Bright and easy to die cut and do fun things with. So I hope you have a bright and cheery Saturday, just like the zinnias. And I will see you on Monday. So happy stamping, friends.